Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The mountainous terrain of LSE offers lot of challenges in operating radars. The scanning radar beams can be partially or completely blocked by mountain and terrains from various directions. This can provide safe passage for adversaries aircrafts and UAVs which can skip from radar detection by flying low and maneuvering between mountain peaks. The terrain provides easy entrance to enemy's aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles flying at low altitudes. The Indian Air Force has already inducted the Alisha radar. Alisha is a multi-beam ground-based 3D surveillance radar for deployment in diverse terrains like plains, desert, mountain and high altitude region. This radar detects and tracks heterogeneous air targets including helicopters fighters and uavs at low and medium altitudes especially in mountainous terrains the quadripod mounted radar is built to operate in networked or standalone mode to support joint or independent operations it is an s band radar with a detection range of 50 kilometers for a target of 2 meter square rcs it can track up to 100 targets and weighs less than 200 kilograms it can track and detect fighter aircraft helicopters slow moving light aircrafts and uavs it can simultaneously track while scanning for new target the another big advantage of this radar is that it can be remotely operated which ensures the safety of crew operating it and the radar can be placed in any tactical locations it is light compact and modular which makes it easy to transport by men light vehicles and under slung by helicopters now recently ministry of defense has released an rfp to procure 10 improved version of triple l wr the triple l wr or low level lightweight radar will consist of 3d aisa search radar commander display unit target designation system and power supply unit the 3d aisa search antenna will be based on gallium nitride tr modules with a digital beam it will be able to detect all types of aerial target up to 50 kilometers with wide beam coverage in elevation it will be able to track 100 targets with capability to designate minimum 20 targets simultaneously to minimum 10 command posts or 10 weapon system each having target data receivers up to a distance of 20 km from the radar using line or radio relay and should be scalable up to 20 target data receivers it will be able to detect depict and work through both active and passive jamming and has capability to counter deception jamming in range azimuth and velocity the gallium nitride based triple lwr is going to be a game changer in high altitudes along the lse and at the same time pain for pla air force due to their light weight they are highly mobile and can be easily placed anywhere the gallium nitride packs in more power in less space and hence improves the radar signal detection capability the drdo's lab lrd has already developed alisha mark 2 with bel as its production partner it is a two vehicle configuration that is a sensor vehicle and a power supply vehicle it uses a semi distributed AESA technology with gallium nitride modules the radar has an improved range and height coverage compared to Alisha Mark 1 radar and capable of operating at high altitude the version of this radar suits well to the indian army's requirement this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this I would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector